And good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I did it again. I'm going to have to come up with a better way to mount that camera. Um, where's what's going on? Okay, I see it. It's that's not square. So that goes there. Okay. Frame, back frame wasn't set up right. Um, I'm going to go away very briefly because I need to fix something. Be right back. Poof. Yep. That's fine. And then we're going to go to this screen real fast. And then I'm going to get this and copy from here. Boop. And then we're going to go back over here. Ta-da! And then I'm going to do this. Uh, paste. Oh, it won't let me do that anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so now I'm up here. Um, but now... We ought to be able to do, uh, we can add a filter to that. We have a filter, that's cool. And then, um, see anything here gonna do what I want? I don't think so. Um, so, okay, that's fine. We can just close this and then, Um, that's that. So, there we go. Okay. So, how y'all doing? I hope things are well. Uh, doing some dual universe. Um, yeah. That is the plan, anyway. Do have a mild bit of a headache going on, so we'll see how long it lasts. I'm hoping the coffee helps with that. It often does. We got, uh, by the way. Yeah, stuff to build. That's the plan. That is the plan. So, we're gonna get on started with that. I like the backdrop. I'm using the defaults, and I'm thinking I'm gonna wind up taking an editor to it, because I need to be able to put a couple things in backgrounds where they just don't with the way this thing is set up. So I'll probably wind up redoing some of this, but I like the look of it. It's kind of cute. Coot. Yeah, that's cool and cute. Yeah, that's, that's what that is. Mm -hmm. uh, now, do I have my... No, that is not on, so we can fix that. There we go. And here we are. It's music on. Hey, Van Herc, how you doing? Good to see you. Um, hmm. Let's see here. Um, let's try a bit of EDM. Uh, nah, trance. We want the lasers. There we are. Okay. No, oh, fantastic. Stuff sold. That's nice. All right. Started at five. Ouch. Yeah, that's rough. All right, so, oops. working on the carrier for a little bit, then I'm going to work on the base and just wander around in circles and do different things, I think is the plan. So, as you can see, the carrier's back in dock. Lessons learned from a, from the uh, maiden voyage. And so, immediately in for refit. <laughs> All right. So, you can see I've installed, I did a little bit yesterday just because I wanted to play with my toys. So I've got this curve structure set up and then I'm echoing, I did the, the lower piece first, now I'm doing the top piece. So what I'm trying to do is sort of echo that. So we're 
we're gonna do a little bit of we're gonna grab from about here. And now we'll go back one further and all the way up to here. So and then we'll grab about two-thirds of that. Oops, and naturally I had the wrong tool picked. Awesome, good job, Michelle. Track ain't doing it for me. Started good, but mm, not yet. Another day wouldn't be bad, but oh, but today no. It may just not be a made that kind of trance day. Some a lot of the generic trance stuff I find on uh, here is a little bit. It sounds like trance, but it's not really. It's not really the the, the, the good stuff, as it were. So that goes outside. What I would rather do... Okay, so what I need to do is actually recopy this. Just a little stub to place hold for that connector. So, I don't want that back piece. We'll just go as far as this. grab that. I can grab a little bit of this, just so I know where it goes. Copy. Oops. Did it again. Like that. Copy. So we're going to do this. There we go. So that goes here. And then we're going to come over here and hit that button. Our key to flip everything over. here, or what did I do? Oh, I see. Okay, yes, it's that. Yeah, no. So I got that piece right, and then we're over here. Okay. Alright, that goes there. So now... I need... Did I... Yeah, I did. That's what I thought. These aren't even. Okay, how did I manage to do that? Oh no, that's an optical illusion because of the way that block is offset. No, this is right. This is okay. Or is it? No. Okay, so the one on the left, on the right, is too far forward. Because I like the look of the one on the left better. Okay. Okay, well, undo, and undo, and do it again. Because, yes, this should go here, like that, and I want that all the way to the front on that. That's correct. I think what it is is I measure is I went off two different it, 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 two different desti um, points, so that's fine. And we're gonna do the same thing over here, and I'm gonna be using inside as my reference mark, not the outside. And so now these two things should be the same, except that I have to hit this button. Now, does that preclude me having this the same? That's the next question. 
nope, that does line up like that. Okay. Okay, so it's not a weird transform problem. Hey, how you doing? Good to see you. Morning, Taylor Bud. Hope you're doing all right. Now, what I need is about this much of that. So, oops. Side box. Uh, yeah, okay, that fits in. That does not. Uh, we're okay like this. Alright, and. Yes, that looks good. And shift click. I totally understand that, Taylor. Um, yeah, I, uh, that was my routine for a long time. Um, running my own company and a, and a single dad was busy. It was a busy, it was a bit, it was a, it was a busy period. So you, uh, yes, you have my empathy on that subject. Let's look here, get this turned on. easy. No doubt about it. Alright. So now, I have to do some, some twist in here, as it were. So that. And we're going to go off the inside on this. Like that. Really? I can't possibly be out of aluminum. Not enough material. Gosh, I'd never get rid of that shit. Okay, well, hang on. I don't need this frame anymore, so I'll just scavenge it, but... Okay. Oh, that's right. It's because I'm working... I'm, okay, that's just what I copied to the carrier. Okay, we'll grab 
like that. So, let's move the engines next. Um, and... How do I want to do this? So the, yeah, I think that is going to be the best way to do it. Let's do this first, because it really doesn't matter which one's I Oops. Okay, there we go. That's what I need to know. That can go there. Okay, I see what I managed to do there. Well, that's interesting. It's not necessarily what I was planning on, but it is interesting. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Um, like this. I gotta double check my... Oh. Okay, well done. Well done, Michelle. So let's start off by the obvious answer. What's the magic numbers here? 9, 2, 48, 95. Okay. So that. Mm-hmm. Interesting. 248 here is so that's all okay it must have been 275 and I miss or 247 and I misread or this is crooked no that is 248 so how does this wind up through oh obvious answer one's higher than the other That's 95. And that was 9, I think. Okay, so sit there for a minute. 9, 248, 0, 95, 0. Yeah, and this... How the hell did I manage that? They're the same engine. Okay, well, um, so the hitboxes on these engines are different. That's really friggin' funny. Um, I'll put that there. So 9, 2, 47, 84.
Okay, that's 1.5, that's 2. I want actually 0 on this engine. And then it needs to come back. 239. And 74 is fine. Do it again. No problem at all. Thanks very much for being here, Van Herc. Lurks are appreciated. Something, something. Right. <laughs> Have you considered possibly having a having an organ being part of an organization and sharing that load? <laughs> Do not. Okay, so I'm going to need... Right, I'll have to go get some stuff. Okay, so it's either off by a half or it's off by a half. Pick, pick your preferred wrong. Okay, got it. Well, here's the great thing. If you drop your T1 tiles, um, the prices of T1 will stabilize. And if you don't think I'm being helpful, it's probably because I'm not being helpful. <laughs> That's the actual problem, um, is that there's way too many T1 tiles in production. For, 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 and a lot of major organizations are vertically integrated integrated well that's just it a lot like you a lot of major organizations are vertically integrated so there's no movement in the end all all of the ore that's being harvested is moving internally which means that the independents are glutting the market because the big boys don't need what they're producing I've said many times that, you know, you know, oh, the game economy's messed. No, it's working exactly the way it should. It's just that, it's just that, unfortunately, um, players have, the, well, okay, not just you, by the way, it's, it's everybody. I do it myself. Is we all, con is that a lot of what's going on is that a lot of the, um, the industrial space, um, instead of trading, 
you know, I buy tier one, make tier one materials with it, sell the product for more, um, everyone's trying to do everything, and that basically means the economy's got nowhere to go. So... You know, the only thing that large organizations are buying is picking up shortfalls, and there's just not enough of that. As I say, and that's just not, that's not just your fault either, that's, everyone does that. Because it's sort of a self-propagating problem. Um, yep, exactly. And again, that's glut. Part of the thing, too, and I pointed this out before, is that um, a lot of... Oops. Um, the other thing that a lot of folks don't get through their heads is that most people playing this game are not business people. They don't want to be business people. They want to make stuff and sell stuff. They actually don't care if they, quote, lose money. That's not the point from their perspective. Um... The point is they're making stuff and selling stuff. Um... You know... A lot of people don't consider ore to have a cost, for example, because they, quote, get it for free. You know... Even ore that you get off an asteroid isn't free. But a lot of people will argue with you, it's free. Because from their perspective, they didn't, you know, they didn't spend tile taxes or... Oh yeah, no, I, I, I know. I, I, you know, I make stuff and build ships because I like making stuff and building ships, not... It, not because it actually makes any sense for me to make stuff. Yeah, just... Yep, exactly. But again, there's, you know, well, yeah, but, you know, I'm having fun when I'm doing this, so it can't possibly cost me anything. It's not work if I'm having fun, right? Yeah, no, well, that's right. Okay. So then, all the way to the back. And then we come forward one meter. Well, so go do it. Okay, one sec here. One meter in, that lets me put a couple of lights on the end of that. And go. Now I just grabbed a middle chunk and copy it repeatedly. <laughs> Alright, I need to fix that edge. Tiny's that up. Um, 
except it didn't there. Get square. Okay, fine. Oh, okay, I see, yeah, yeah. Um, hmm. All right, we'll just do this then. And... There, and shift click. There, fixed. Okay. Clean this side up later. Um, now, because what I want to do... Let's grab... Nope. Hmm? What are you complaining about? Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, that's exactly what I didn't want. Um, alright, I'll have to do one strip to start with and then double it while it's up there. that and up we go but we'll fix it as we go. Um, yeah, it depends what you're doing. Um, I don't bother doing rocks. Generally speaking, I rarely do rocks outside the, uh, outside the blue zone. Um, so the one I have, I rather like for it. Plenty of capacity. I can do, yeah, I can do service calls. I can do wreck, I, I can do wreck salvage while I'm out. Whatever, you know. Um, for PvP ro uh, uh, rocks, honestly, talk to Leroy. Just get what, ask him for a, uh, for a for for a BP copy of the the ones that Starlantis uses. They're fantastic. They're inexpensive. You know, one full cargo hold will 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 will, will, will pay for ten replacements, kind of thing, right? You know, you can. thinking here. So the magic number is four. So that would be right here. Um...
So, okay, I said four. So there. is too big. That's okay. It's exactly one square too large that way. Fine to hell with you too. Um, I mean, that's essentially the answer I had expected, but yeah. There we go. So that's exactly the maximum area. And yes, copy. And I've got the wrong tool selected again. God damn it. Oh, I annoy me when I do that. Copy. There we go. Material, huh? Probably the white plastic, I'm guessing. So what are we using here? That is... Glossy white. white got lots of that okay what about you your white pattern okay okay might be it might be the white pattern plastic come out of actually because I'm because I run through a lot of that that way um, and then you are what you are matte silicon Uh, definitely need more matte silicon. No question about that. And what about you? Your glossy dark blue plastic. Okay. And the glossy dark blue, I have a metric oodle of. Okay. And then this is Lumi yellow. Okay, your gloss yellow. Plenty of that for this purpose, and then lumen yellow, and plenty of this. Okay, so my most likely culprits are matte silicon and white pattern. Okay, matte silicon, white pattern. So let's go make some of that. I don't have any in the uh, sitting in the, in the bins ready, ready to go. Yeah. Be well. Catch catch up with you later, Taylor.
Oh gosh. white pattern I have got 360 of that and I don't have any matte silicon all right so let's fix that you're doing aluminum steel Okay, you can do plastics. So what did I... White pattern plastic. Okay. that made for me. And then, what was the other one I said I needed? Matte silicon. Probably needs... Okay, I'm gonna set up the glossy white while I'm here. Because I know I'm gonna need more. That's just a given. And then matte silicon. It's one of these two machines here. Hey, silicon, good. Okay. Matte. Go. And away we go. Okay. So that'll get running. Alrighty, folks, I need to take a brief moment and do my stretches and stuff. Um, it's been 40 minutes or so on the stream, so I'm going to take a brief break. Uh, we will be right back after that, and by that point, these machines will be done doing their thing, and we'll get back to building stuff. I will need to, I want to get the flat top, a good chunk of the flat top done on the carrier, and then I want to do some work on the space station itself. So we'll be right back. Stay tuned, and uh, yeah, we'll do some more.
Alrighty, folks. We are back. Um, I'm gonna have to make... Okay, I'm gonna mess with that later, but for now... We will just do this. <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna have to make a second video source and set it up so it's facing the right way. And technically, you yeah, know, I don't like that there. So we're gonna move it back over here. Like that. Yeah, that'll do. There. Okay. And here. Okay, we got some plastic done. Just waiting on the silicon to churn up. And there's my silicon. Okay. I can go get some more work done. And just like that, we're in a plastic again. <laughs> we're out of silicon in this case. Yeah, it's the silicon I'm out of. Okay. Um, and that is actually about as far forward as I want to go anyway. We'll maybe do... One more step up. One more, one more deck out. And then I'll be putting the the roundup on it, and that will be the upper flight deck done. And then I'm going to do a little bit of work on the station, and then we're going to do some flight testing. Which is going to involve basically just going and parking over Ma in atmosphere over Madison, seeing what's involved in landing on this thing. The problem I had was that while an XS core would go onto this pad just fine, um, an S core just wouldn't, and an M core bounced every damn time. So, and it's not that it wouldn't sit there; it was the landing was too hard. It was practically impossible to stick the landing. And I'm okay as a pilot. Um, and you know, I've done carrier landings in games like DCS World before. Um, you know, I've landed uh, fairly heavy. <laughs> I've landed a, uh, uh, a prop-driven cargo plane on the Nimitz without a tail hook, so I'm pretty sure that I could stick a landing, you know, under normal conditions, but just it, too hard. Which means that it, it breaks the purpose of the ship. You can't, it, you know, anybody needs to be able to land on this thing. That's the point. So... Hence the second flight deck. Or the the prime the, the land basically, you know, it's gonna be for larger vessels as well. But certainly I needed a bigger a bigger flight deck.
Okay. And then I've got an idea for a piece of software, but I have no idea if I'm even capable of writing it. So it's going to be a fascinating pro job to find out. Um, I got an idea for a ship, and essentially based on the Skaporsky Sky Crane. Uh, button. Um, Sky Crane's an amazing helicopter. Um, classic, a classic um, example of the old adage that, you know, helicopters don't fly, they beat the air into submission until they do their will. Yeah, that. Um, now, can I get all the way up to here by chance? No, of course not. Alright, how much can I get out of this? So we'll go to there. No? Well, all right. That's as good as I go. Very good. Copy. Down the end of the flight deck. And then I have to figure out what the middle of this flight deck is. There's actually a better way to do that, now that I think about it. And I'm holding it in my hand, as it were. Right, so what I'm going to do... That'll go there. And then I'm gonna grab this. One sec here. I want to test a command. rid of that. Just one sec, I want to check something here fast. I'm sure I have that set up as a command, but it never seems to work. Tool. Exclamation mark, do you wrong tool? Yeah. But it never fires, and I don't understand why. Stream is online. Yeah, don't understand why it doesn't work. Because if I do stream cat... Yeah, so StreamCat works. So, yeah, I don't understand why the, the the wrong tool command doesn't work, but okay, whatever. Um, okay, we have some results. So, flight deck is done. 
Um, what I can do... So obviously enough, I'm gonna need to, I'm gonna need an elevator and blah blah. In fact, I'll probably install the elevator now, just so I don't have to friggin' worry about it. Let's. Um, where would be a good, reasonable place to put the elevators? Oh, the pilot lounge is up in the front, right? So maybe we'll just put an elevator in each front corner. I'm going to move it now. That, and then... One will go here. No, I did give it the two squares. Okay. Not like that. Okay, yeah. Alright. And then... That. Goes to here. Oh, you brat. Clicky now, yes? Yes, fine, thank you. Okay, that's installed. That's that. Um, now what? I think let's go work on the flight deck. I want to leave this alone for a minute and let it and let that just sort of sit in the back of my head. What uh, and and perk as it were. Let's go on up here. thing. Okay, that isn't what it... Okay, so I'm just too close to it's the problem. Alright. That. That is what I'm trying to achieve. I 
happy birthday to me. Thank you again to everybody who made this piece of awesome possible. Okay, so that will need some, some polyfill, as I like to say. And then I need to go forward here, like that. No, nope, we're still not even what's going on. Down one and out one. That. And not quite. Yep, that's pretty much it. It's a little bit. There we go. That's as far forward as that goes. So no, that's right. Okay, that's that one. We'll wire it later. Okay, it's lined up with this one, but okay, so what it is these two... <laughs> it's the, okay, this pair is not lined up with that pair by like half a voxel. Okay, I'm not going to stress too hard about that. Now this down here needs to get completely rehauled. Um, I'm just gonna zap the one of these out. This ship doesn't live here anymore, so we can make this go away. Anything in you? Yeah, okay, I do have a bunch of, okay, there's a bunch of ammunition in here. I'm gonna clean this out. All that needs to get shipped to, um, to Starlantis. that off. Alright. And now Gate Legate. down here and get this to line up.
that one's right. Okay. That's basically a 90 degree angle is what I'm trying to achieve there, right? Let me guess. Yep. They're okay. They're not symmetrically shaped. Awesome. Good job. Good job. Do uh, no quirk. So I will have to move the top gate over one square. Yeah. Half a box. that, which lines them up perfectly. There. Alright, whatever. Okay, now I gotta wire them up, as it were. Now, where is... Where did I put the software controller for this thing is the next question. Well, here's an easy way to find out. Hello! Where you go? Aha! Down... no. Is that an invalid construct? Because otherwise, I shouldn't be able to pick that. Probably just too far away. It's just too far away. What I probably need to do is set up an actual um, program board to sort this out. All right, that sorts that. Now, 
Happy birthday to me. That makes me so happy. All right. Um, now, two more of those to install. Well, not that big. So much decorating to do. Oh my gosh. That's my other birthday present from uh, from Monday morning. A bonsai. So I put it beside the pond. So now the part that scares me. Um, I forever worry about wrecking this damn thing, but okay, we're here now. So, um, how's this work? Now, let's, okay, so I've got my electronics up here. Whoops, stop that. Okay, just stop. Okay, that's one set of electronics is there. And the other set is where? There. Okay. Yep. Cool. So, the way this works is that all of the... <sighs> Break off, you thing. So, all of the... Um, for the... For this to, to drop, um, or to be locked in place, I use a button here, and that retracts the force fields, closes the doors, and everything else. It's just that, unfortunately, the size of this thing, because I have how I have it mounted, is a little more complicated than possibly is useful. So what I want to do is replace all this small stuff. So that's what I'm going to do now. Hey, good morning, Spork Chop. Thanks so much for dropping in. So let's uh, dismantle a few things here. Light. I just need something small as a pointer. You'll do. Thanks. Be quick. You can go away for now. I probably will put those force fields back in, but for now they can just go away. Alright, and then I think I can well I'll leave this here for now because I don't know how much space I need, ultimately. So then we're going to go here, and drop out of here, and then go over here. Room B. There we are. Alright, that's that all. Did I get the one back here? Yeah, I did. Okay. So now... Let's see how this works. So now, I need a gate. Expanded gate L. And then R. Yeah, that's it. What the hell? Oh, that's not level. Okay, yes, yes, I know why. Okay, never mind. Um, so eight. I'll just not touch that then. We'll use this surface here. Eight. Okay, and down we go. And we're through a bunch of stuff. Now this is the part where essentially I'm going to wind up having to rip things apart, and I know that, but that's okay. Um, there we go. Okay, that's fine. So the objective here is to have this as close to that wall, to that edge, as possible. 
right? Like, okay, that's as that's as good as it gets. All right. And then. Hmm. I mean, that looks fairly awesome, but hmm. Oh, is it even? Yeah, it's even. All right. Well, um, actually, more needs to be this way. I think. I can go there. That gets me right up to the edge of the yellow at this end. Let's look back here. Oh, lots of room. Okay. So what's? Okay. Now, next question. Do I want to raise this? I don't think I do. Um, not my thing this morning, thanks. That's techno, that's not trance. Please don't misclass- please don't misclassify your music, it annoys purists. Um... Because... Right... I'd have to re-engineer this bottom section substantially. Not that I mind doing that. But... I could do that. Alright, I... What does that do down here? Anything that really worries me? Gives me a walking ledge there. And that would leave that open for glass, so that... Okay, but if I'm gonna do that, I have to go up a little higher, because the glass won't fit there. Can I go... Okay. That would not bother the glass. Will it bother the lift? Guess we find out. So that goes here. Now I have to wander over here. And I plug in the electronics. So, that is, okay, so that's that, so that would be this. Okay. So then, wobble over here, hit the B button, and let's do a test. Good. I'm just going to do this manual command. Um, move. Uh, we'll just go down nine meters. Didn't like something there. button. Hey! Thank you very much for the PM. Appreciate you. saw what happened, right? So, yeah, it collided there. Okay, that's fine. So I'll have to lower that down. It can't stay there. Okay, that's fine. All right. And that was the question. So while it looks like it ought to be okay, it's not. So it'll have to go down here.
Okay. So yeah, at that point, we'll set it up so that it's level with the floor here, like that. So that I can glass and you can see the bottom of that. Mm, I want to go there and down. No, that's okay. That should be okay. Let's look over here. Yep, no, that fits perfectly, just like that. So that'll be it. Okay, and then I can put the other one in now that I know where that lines up on. Um, what is that height? Okay, so the magic number is 77. 216, 4.5, 77. Okay. I'm going to have to rip all this out over here. Whoops! Uh, that drives me nuts. Take a step forward. Game says, clearly you meant dive to your doom. No, no, that's not at all what I meant. Stop that. mess up. Inval oh, that's actually stuck through. Okay, I didn't notice that. Alright, so we'll get... chop this all out of here, and... because I have to tear this whole side of the station apart and replace it. Um, so, we're just gonna do that get rid of this. Snap this out as well. I'll replace it probably with an angled force field. Actually, it's kind of a cool idea. Um, okay. Go here. there, and the easiest way to do that is just going to be pull this pane of glass out of the way. So that'd be kind of cool, actually, is to have it set up so that... Huh, how would that work? Two force fields. One that's up when the, do when, the, uh, when the doors are open, and one that's angled out when the doors are closed. I think that's kind of a neat idea. Let's do that. Um, force. I've got... Uh, 
Well, the S's will do. Mediums would be better, but I'm not going to go steal any. Uh, so we're going to put one here. Okay. Like that. And then I need to... What are you? You are polished like gray aluminum. Okay. Hey, KJ! Good morning! Should show up here in just a moment. Commander, you've rained on my glorious parade. For this, I'm sending everything I've got at you. But I won't let you have the satisfaction of catching me. I'm escaping. One place that hasn't been corrupted by capitalism. Space! <laughs> I adore that. I really do. I really shouldn't, but I really do. <laughs> it's just... oh. So, if I go like that... I don't think that interferes there. I can actually afford to push that back one notch. And then shift-click. Like that. And then I grab this. Mm. That's too sharp an angle. I mean, it's walkable, but it's kind of steep. I went the wrong way. Okay, let's... Uh, oh, okay, so I'm going to need to take a break here in just a moment. So let's undo that. I'm going to shave this back there. And then, so I want it. How? Hmm. I'm trying to visualize this, so hang on a sec here, folks. Oops. Alright, and then rotate that. That makes, okay, that would make it more shallow, which is what I want. So we'll go to here, like that, and then I will put... Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. So now, I'm going to 7, and F, and F. So we're going to go up here to my pile of electronics... Now, this one... Okay, which one are you plugged into? Okay. That one is for docked. So, that one. So, you're allowed to be on right now. Right? And then the other one... So, this one is the... Okay, which one is it? Let's do that. Okay. So, okay, the top one is... For undocked. There we go. So now, if I go in here. Nice. Seals up the door, closes the ramp up. Alright, now we're gonna turn this on. It's gonna stabilize itself. I close up, what do we have happen here? Doesn't disturb the lift at all. Lift doesn't detect the floor, though. Interesting. Okay. So, um, let me just try something here. Down. So, it, that, so he doesn't have a, mo a down command, which I think is kind of silly. It's move minus U, and then you give it a negative distance. It should be, I should be able to just type in down. Down to. Uh, so let's go down two, uh, or down, no, not stop, bang, yeah, 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 of course, idle, and then move, move up three, Oh, 
Okay, so... I'm probably, like, a meter too high. Okay, that's actually kind of funny. Alright, so if I adjust my end point, you know, by a meter or so, it'll do- it'll detect that and then settle down on the doors. Okay, that's fine. And because it's settled on the doors, I'm not interfering with the- it, it, it's basically, you know, it's not gonna interfere with the, the hitbox of the, uh, of the lift. Okay, that's cool. So, if I do this, like that, and I hit end, yeah, so, four meter difference. I wonder if there's an easy way to move it. Uh, I'm, I'll have to read the documentation and see if there's an easy way to adjust the altitude of a uh, of an endpoint. So if I do a move, negative U, negative one. Literally one meter difference. Okay, well, that's fine. All right. So now I'm going to set up... I'm going to rip this chunk out here. I don't need any of this anymore. And then I'm going to set up the same arrangement with force fields and what have you that I did over here. Because I think this is kind of cool. Um, it's a little too high up. So eventually what I'll have to do is put a small staircase to come down part of the way, and then the force field will finish it. And then, of course, I need to put pretty lights down here and stuff, but that's okay. Because pretty lights! Gotta have pretty lights. I mean, if you're not building shit with pretty lights on it, what are you doing? Alright, now, hang on. Before I go any further, I need to take a minute or two break and do my stretches, because my doc has been on my case about that. I need to take better care of my back, sitting in a chair for four hours, being enthusiastic, not good for my back, particularly now that it's wood splitting season. So I will be right back, two minute break at most, um, and then we'll get back to it. So yeah, be right back.
Alrighty. Let's get back to it. Um, hope everyone's doing okay. Uh, let's see here. And then flip horizontal. What I'll, yeah, I'll fix that. I'll permanently fix that later, but there we go. That's a little bit better looking. Where is it? No. So if I'm facing this way, then I'm looking off screen again. That That's not right. It was right the first time. That's weird. Um, how did I manage that? Okay, well, unlock and put it back. It's the, um... There, yeah, that's better. Yeah, there we go. It's the position... Uh, my camera is here. <laughs> Commander, you've rained on my glorious parade. For this, I'm sending everything I've got at you. But I won't let you have the satisfaction of catching me. I'm escaping. One place that hasn't been corrupted by capitalism. Space! So yeah, so I've got um, my streaming machine here my gaming rig here, and the camera's right in the middle, so it's hard for me to figure out which way's which. <laughs> yes, three would start to get annoying. <laughs> well, I don't know. I, I find that one funny as hell, so it's not going to annoy me. All right. So, okay, yeah, this thing needs to come out of here, was what I was saying. that out of there. I need to be careful. Okay, I might have made a mess. No, I didn't. Okay, that's fine. So we're gonna... Yeah, okay. If I do that, I'll trim out a bunch of stuff there I don't want to lose. So we're gonna do this. Okay, now, where's that? Do I have it? I know, okay, I didn't put that, uh, I, okay, so there isn't a comparable door over here, as I have over there. Hmm. And I'm guessing that's because I couldn't figure out where it was I was going to put it, because, eh, yes, because I didn't know where this went. All right. So do I want, because there's two obvious places to put that door. One would be here. Right. Another one would be all the way up here, because this is sort of the main floor up here, right? Um, you know, come out with, put a door here, put a little, uh, you know, a gantry, maybe a coil stair, and then finish it with the, uh, with the force field. Hmm, okay. I'll have to think about that, because that's a bit of a big decision. I don't know what I want to do with that. Okay. However, that cleans this up. I need to s do... So obviously enough, there's some work... You know, there's a lot of voxel work that needs to be done around the edges. Um, I need to close this edge up. And that's going to be... I mean, that's pretty straightforward. That's just a matter of grabbing some more of this material and extending outwards. Uh, in fact... No reason not to do that right now. So let's just do that. Okay. Grab this.
There, it gives me a good sized slab to work with. So that can go there. with that to clean this edge up. that just puts shadow everywhere I want to work. Excellent. Good, good, good. Appreciate that. Um, it'll sit here then. No blue. Oh, there's a dippy in that. I can see that. Huh. Well, it's easy to fix. that up. Okay, that gets me as far as I need to go there. And I just need to clean up that little, the uh, little insets there, that's easy to do. No, that's okay. That stays nice and tidy there. That's all good here. Yeah. So there's a walking edge around here. I think what that really means is the best place to put that door is right here. I think is really what that says. Adjust the landing position by the one meter required so that it sh doesn't auto shut down properly, and there we go. I think is how that's going to work. Not going to get into reading the documentation for that right now, though.
dip that a little bit here. Okay. Oops, wrong button. I can make this thing go away now. I do need to do some better lighting in here, but yeah. Probably going to do that with headlights along here. Set, inset them between these the the glow strips, and then have them pointed upwards in the same color. Actually, that wouldn't be that hard to do. We can do that right now. In fact, let's do that. Uh, headlight. I got some of them. Let's see how that looks. So B. Uh, okay. So. All right, so that isn't what it looks like. So what I would have to do is put a block in place. All right, well, I can do that. Right, and then E. Oh, no. And spin that around. How's this work? It's a bit more like that, isn't it? Yeah. So I can do this, and then put the headlight on it, and then move the headlight to where I want it. Oh, you're going to be like that, are you? Because that's... Oh, I see what's going on. So if it comes up... Yeah, it winds up... Mm -hmm. So I actually may wind up needing that block to make it look right. Yeah, that would be about as close as I can get it. Anything else, it really has to be sort of popped out. And I don't like that look. Okay, so what I'm going to do then... Alright, so it would be better off... Okay, I can put it there. And then I need this. And I need my safety orange. Copy. Advanced. Right. And then I need a relay. Done that already. Um, relay. I'm going to glue that back here in this case. And then I'm going to come up here. Seven key. Where is it? That's ah, all up here. Okay. And so, it's this one that I want. Oh, where you go? Yeah, that's correct. So I want this relay plugged into that. And then I want that light plugged into this. And then I want this block. Put another one over here. And another one over here. And another one over here. And that'll be a good start. Now we're gonna go get our headlights again. Whip. Apparently I need to make some more.
Yeah, so there we got all that. And then G and then back to here and make sure I have this copied. Change these advanced set RGB color. There's a brighter version I have, but if I don't need to use it, it's kind of obnoxious. So if I can get away with this, we'll go with this. And yes, that's plenty of light. I like that. And actually looks kind of trim. I like that. Very good. Okay. And yeah, that's just too natural to not have the door there. Okay. Um, hmm. So we've got a couple of ways I can do this. I can come out that far. I think that is, in fact, the right way of doing that. So I'm just going to do this. Yeah, and so that's going to pop up there. So I'm going to need to, quote, cement that. Um, so... Yeah, um... I can afford to move it out one more square, but not any further. Right, that. And then... Okay. And what are you? You're polished like gray. Hey, Jackpus, how you doing? Good to see you. That's what I thought. Alright, I'm fine with that. Mm. Yeah, that. Okay, yep, that's fine. Um, except it's not, isn't it? So, same answer over here, though, right? Like, 
think that. Yeah, out to there and click. And that seals that up nice and nice and pretty. And then I need a bit of floor stuff. Doopy doopy doo. I do like the idea of having the force field seal up the door, though. So we're going to do that as well. Um, it makes no sense to put it on the inside now. Uh, uh, on that side, now that I think about it. It should be here. So that's where we're going to put it. So force. And that's the S. Equip. is the this to here. Now, does that go through the floor But No, it does not. It's a little high for here, but... Oh, no, that's fine. Yeah, okay. All right, that's fine. Okay. And then... Go here and hit the magic button open up, and we can jetpack over. And we have a force field. Fantastic. Okay. That's nice and tidy. We're all done. needs a light over here. It's a little damn dark. Um, <laughs> light. And, uh, equip. And we're going to put some goofy move. We're going to put two lights over here. Ha ha! Um, B. This one is going to be red. And I'm OK 
okay with that blinking. Alright. So this one needs to be on when the doors are open. Is that the one? Yeah. Yes, that's the one I want. So now, when the doors are open, the force field's up, you'll also get a red, a red blinking light. Okay, cool. And then this one is going to be on when that is lit as well. And it goes here. So it should now be off. And then this one will be on when these are on. So now, here, I want that to be my floor light, as it were. Right, that's that. And then the safety orange will be the other one. So the corner will be lit when the door is open. But it won't, but it will be a safety color. There we are. So now we bottle over here. There we go. Like the door light changes color, right? in here, my backpack, I go take a look, perfect, that's exactly what I wanted to see. Okay, and then, let's open the gun, uh, it wiggled the, uh, the ship that time, and then we get the, the, friend, the friendly light. And ta-da. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot. Mm. And that gets that little bit more, that little next bit done. You know, like, eventually all this is going to be glassed, right? I got... What if 880 panels I need to install? But that's okay. It'll be... Right now, that's low priority. Um... But this works now. That's one more thing done. And that makes me happy. All right, now. Um, so that's the, main, that's the main flight deck gates installed. The elevator gates installed. The flight deck on the carrier installed. Okay. So what I want to do now is get back to the carrier and do a test. give some architecture thought to this. Obviously there's a lot of work up here that has to happen. This all has to this whole area here has to get roofed in, closed up, and then I need to figure out how I want to do this. I like this idea of the curve because if you take a look, it's echoed down here with the engine spar, right? For here. So it goes up sweeps, curls back, goes forward. So I'm thinking I'm going to want to do something similar to that here again. Um, we'll see. For now, it's off to mat as we go. Ah, the interior door was open. That's the safety cycle. 
And here we go. kilometers an hour. Departing station. I don't have a door here yet. What do I have in inventory? Well, the dumbest thing I could do would be an E19. That would be essentially the dumbest thing I could do. Um... And I've got an E19. I got an atmosphere only an E19 on the planet. That's an excellent... That's actually an excellent test. Okay, we'll just use the one on the planet. Whoops. Yes, I clearly meant to run straight into that wall game. That's a clear and obvious player action. Hey, good morning, Gavram. Good to see you. Thanks very much for dropping in. Mm, wrong key. Okay. Um... What's my, what is my ag set to right now? Uh, target altitude is set to 22,000. Okay, we can work with that. Um, let's set that to standby. And then let's set that to... Hydrate, thank you, MNCDK. Yeah, it's just, there's so many little things that, like I say, this game is this close to being damn good. And stupid little shit like gates that are just not symmetrical. <laughs> yeah. I like, I really do appreciate what he's doing with No Friendly Fire, though. I think it's, a, Leroy had a great idea, and Swervin's doing a great job implementing it. Hey, good morning, Lord Dragon. Good to see you. All right. Um... Oh, yes. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, you know. Um... Oh. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> but the gate sounds so good. Must have... Yeah. <laughs> Here, have 90, have 100 million, give me gates. <laughs> That's a hell of a change in four weeks, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I'd forgotten about that MNCDK, thank you. I haven't had a chance to listen to it. That's uh, that's my my homework before Thursday is to get caught up on those. So I, because I love listening to them because there's a lot of good stuff that, you know, in the, in the heat of the moment when we're chatting, I don't necessarily catch to as quick as I could. 
All right. Um, I can't remember what the atmosphere on this planet is, so we're just gonna go. Um, there we go. Let's uh, let's point ourselves. Re okay, I'm just gonna say really. Thought for a second the planet hadn't spawned in again. And away we go. Let's, um... Waypoints. So, from is going to be our current location. And then, I'm just, just ping Mattis for now as my destination, which is that. So we're under the moon, we're under Moon One's influence here. I need to remember that. So when I'm picking a war a warp point, Moon One is my cl is my closest op closest stellar body. Okay. That was stupid. Yeah. In point of fact, all stop, please. That's the idea. That is essentially the idea. It's a warp-capable space station. I'm actually planning on having dispensers um, in a couple of places for uh, pilots uh, who need who need you know repair materials, fuel, stuff like that. Elcor. Yep. Oh yeah, I haven't used I haven't used uh, I haven't used half of what the available space for this thing is. But Okay, we are almost to a stop. I'm not going to accelerate. I'm not going to cover over 200 kilometers in the time it, t it takes me to do a fuel transfer. Let's jump out of the chair here. But that's also the reason it's got three, uh, three massive motors and a bunch of secondaries. Um is because I need to I'm expecting to be moving tw uh, 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 12 to 20 kilotons of other ships with this thing at some point. That That's sort of the specification. All right, I need to pick you as linked container. And yes, okay, I've got... It. It's, uh, and then here we are. gonna need to spend some time walking around market six looking for inspiration about co for color palettes I'm having trouble getting my head past well, about what to do for the uh, for the interior walls don't want it to be too expensive don't want it to be too heavy just because there's so much of it but okay your how much have I got I got 7,000 liters okay so I can put 3,000 per tank. All right, so I can get both sides up to 7,000. Okay. 
Ooh, this side's a little lower than I thought. Okay, let me slip a bit back over here. There we go. That's fine. Okay. Um, and then did I bring... Yeah, I got 20 kiloliters, so I can put 10,000 in both tanks. That's better, but not great. I'll need to bring I'll need to bring some more fuel in when I when I dock up again. I know better than to fly without checking my fuel stat first. All right, um, so away we go. says 22,000. Um, oh, 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 let's engage that. Okay, oh, why would it have done that? Why did not? It didn't, st it didn't stay at the target altitude it was set at last time. going to get complicated. Well, not really. I'm just going to have to slow the hell down. And... Ag is not increasing in altitude. Alright. Um... Yeah. Just full brakes here. Because I will go crinkle crunch long before I get to a thousand meters uh, um, at Mattis. <laughs> it is an incredibly it, it, it crinkle. It is an incredibly technical term. You'll generally only hear it here, here, sh and it's usually fin immediately followed by French words. <laughs> okay. So now the problem is I don't know which one to trust. Come to a full stop here, jump out of the chair, and restart everything, I guess. Is it because I turned the the, the anti rev generator off instead of leaving it instead of leaving it on? Would that have done that? Because now it's not changing. Hmm. Change the height. Yeah. Okay. Good point. Um. Say eighteen thousand. Nope, egg altitude not changing. Um, hmm. Let me get out and have a quick look around. Oh, amazing.
Yeah, I see that too. There we go. It's okay, so it was the UI screwed up. Alright. Um, well, fair enough. Yeah, we are slowly accelerating towards the planet, but it's going to take a while to get there at 50 kilometers an hour. Um, yes, I can see operational pulsers. That was the next question. Do a quick visual inspection of the pulsers. Yep, that one's a, that one's operational. Those are working. Okay, so the pulsers are all on. So the pulsers are working. Go check the other side too. I didn't move any of that, but I'm not sure what's going on. It might have just be a, it might just be a UI issue with the uh, with the with the aviator. I don't know how many people use aviator and ag. Nope, oh, those are all working. Yep, that's working. Yep, that one's fine. Yep, okay. So, no, it... Okay, that ain't it. So, it gains a kilometer every four minutes. So it's going to be a half an hour for that thing to get up to the alti to, to the new target altitude. Um, the catch is... Okay, let's tell me a story here about Mavis. The safe altitude is 1,560 meters. The atmosphere is at 12,000 meters. Okay. Um... So, if I set my ag altitude for 5,000, I will have an oodle of room. Okay. Alright, so I can start my descent. Alright. And now, I actually need to ch change my destination. So, I want... Filter by distance, please. Yeah, I'm... What I do is I come down to a particular altitude, stabilize, and then lower the rest of the way. The time to realize I'm having an ag problem is not at 1,000 meters. <laughs> Max ground height, as far as I know, MNCDK. Okay, yep. All right, that is not a surprise. That's literally how I built it. Okay, in we go. So yeah. So what's interesting is that a couple of the, um, most of the uh, uh, plateaus here on the planet are above ag minimum. So if you build a base on this planet, you can bring the ag straight down on top of the plateau. With room to spare, in fact. Alright. Okay, breaking distance is three kilometers. In we go. Which, that reminds me, I need to f set myself a couple more WS2 starter kits. I'm out. That would take me long. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, it should. Most of the mountains, I believe, are, are, are 1150, 1150, 1300 meters. I know that because there's at least two people I know who have mountaintop castles that they can just bring their ag, ag ships right down to. No questions. As opposed to building, you know, thousand meter towers right around, uh, around Market 6. I completely agree, Van Herc, which is why I think more people should be doing, um, oh gosh, who is it? There's someone has got a World War II fighter, uh, a, a, a Red Bull style fighter, uh, fighter rally where basically you spend the time flying through buildings. I think more people should fly that. Mm -hmm. All right, let's drop down from Mach 2. Don't need to be flying that fast. That's booty. Okay. I knew booty was doing the jets, but I didn't know he had the World War II stuff as well. Right. 19,000, which puts us, what, 2,000 above atmosphere? Let's get our braking distance below 1,000 below meters. Switch to atmospheric. Yeah, so the top of the cloud, top of the top of the sky is twelve thousand. Get our nose up a bit here, and full brakes. Okay, so it's probably bones then. Switching to pancake configuration. And let go brakes. a bit. at the top of the sky. Keeping the rate of descent right around 200 kilometers an hour. Your ag bubble is 200 meters across, about. So as long as your vertical speed is less than 200 meters per second, you'll get ag capture. I prefer to keep it about one third that, right around 70, right around 70 meters per second. Any faster than that, and I start getting nervous. So that's about 300 kilometers. That's you know 270, 280 kilometers an hour, right around there is a good is a good rate of descent. Down to 8,000 meters.
2% atmosphere. So our air breathers will kick in shortly. Yep, there they go. Continuing descent at 70 meters per second. 6,000 meters. Okay, we're not going to get to 30. I'm just going to change my ag drop to 3,500. 3,500 is good. 5,000 meters. Ag is now at 3,500. Hitting the brakes. We're going to shave a little bit of our speed down to 40 meters per second. 4,000 meters, 4,500 meters. 32% atmosphere. Rated descent is a nice, easy 20, 26 meters per second. It's 3,900. We're going to come to a slow down a little bit more. 17 meters per second. Rated descent, nice and easy. 50 kilometers an hour, right? It's 3,600, we're now in the ag bubble. Ag power is now 15%, ag's taken over. You can hear the air breathers shutting off. That's ag capture, just like that. Okay. So now, Let's maneuver our way that away. Get ourselves a little bit closer to the base. There we go. We'll cruise on over. And then let's set our ag down to 2280. atmosphere that's plenty easy work for air breathing engines get ourselves down to 2280 and we'll begin testing
Okay. here real quick. Little bit of wibbling back and forth here while it settles itself out, but that's okay. Once we get down to 2280, I'm basically going to jump off the ship and go get the uh, my my atmosphere only E19 and basically find out how difficult it's going to be to do, uh, to, uh, to do a landing on this thing. Because if I can't, it's still too hard for most other pilots. The whole point of this is this to be a newbie, a relatively newbie friendly kind of thing. So if I can't hit it, nobody then certainly a brand new pilot's not going to be able to. Almost there. All right, that is good enough. We'll wibble out here. We'll bounce back up to to twenty two eighty. All right, there we go. All right. Let's just do this. There we go. Yeah. Um, and we'll turn those off. Not a good time for lag game, just saying. This should be entertaining. I'll use that word. Entertaining. So it's at 2,200 meters, so I gotta get above 2,200 as, as my first thing, right?
wasn't being that heavy on the keyboard, thanks. Okay, that's the field. So I'm rough. Okay, so then I need to be heading southwest. So right turn, then it, then come onto a southwest. <laughs> what did I do, MNCDK? What was it I said? Just so I know what to say. not say again. I mean. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, got it. Yep. Mattis is a terrible place to be doing this, but... Okay, so aim for the tail of the ship. Break. Do you want to be doing more than 200? Kill for momentum. Stop. And landing. Mode. And Alt T to dock. And that's it. Dirt simple. Okay. That was a whole lot easier. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a difference. Okay. Alright, so the gravity foo-foos are, are, are in force because I'm actually... Because in spite of being docked, I'm in the air. Yeah, no problem. And then... So what, I can move 40 19s? 8, if I'm careful. I've wound on. That is, un that is unpleasant behavior, game. I don't like you when you do that. Try that again, shall we? Okay. So if I'm careful, that's an S core, right? Not a big one, but it is an S4. Oh, nice. Um, so what? That's... Three squares. So then... One, two, three... So if I say four, i.e. I leave a square for parking space. So one, two, three, yeah, okay. So one... Two, three, and four. Then one, two, three. Yeah, I could. Yeah. So reasonable, reasonably sized S cores. Because this thing. Think, what's this one? This one here is a weird build. It's not actually very optimized. But that's three. But it could have three L core. If I hadn't put that vertical set of lifters in it, it should be able to fit three uh, L containers in this thing. In fact, it might? What's the, what's the volume on this thing? Uh, 14... 14,300? I think that's three Ls. Three expanded Ls, I think. Um, where's the... Where's the hub? There's the hub. What, what are you plugged into?
Okay, there are two L containers on this. I could, if I wanted to, I could have a third. It's just that it, it's just that the engine requirements were going to be too much on on Mattis, which is why I went with two. Um, because I'm not using what are these standard engines? I think yeah, those are basics. That's a basic. Yeah, okay. So if someone was using uncommon or advanced engines, you can put three. You could put three, um, three large containers under this thing without issue, without difficulty, and lift it, and fly safely. So three L containers will get you a lot of goods moved. Okay. So yes, it will work. Because there's nothing on this ship is atmosphere. This thing is atmospheric only. All right. So now, how hard is it? Let's let's be really simple now. All right. So uh, G for landing mode. Take the brakes off. out where I can get at them. There we are. Full power. A little bit of nose back so we can get flying. We're in the air, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so we're at 2300 meters and holding. I'm not gonna... I'm gonna do this by stick, because that's about as dumb as I can possibly consider being. Let's not overturn that. Synchronized turn. Go. So we're gonna head northeast. That'll get us into position to do our to do our turnaround back towards the carrier. We're at 3,200, which is high. We can take the throttle back. Get down under 3,000 meters. 10% throttle is fine. Okay. I keep leaning on the stick. Rudder, little bit of uh, of aileron, nice easy turn, 2,800 meters. We want to stay about there for now. Okay, and then 
swoop. A little bit of rudder to line us up, and brakes. Not as neatly centered, and then we're going to Alt-T for docking. Okay, so we're docked. Okay, we're going to let go of the brakes here. I'm using a little bit of, uh, I'm using some vector thrust to drift myself sideways. A little bit of rudder, there's my, okay, there's the vertical kick, so I'm over the flight deck. Hello, how you doing? Good to see you, Dirk. Okay, got both sides of the flight deck in sight, so that's about even. Give a little bit of forward power, not much. Okay, got the nose of the deck in sight. We're gonna level it out here. And landing boat. Impressed. It can be done. All right. So, yeah. Even with even for even flight stick, it, it can be done. So that makes this carrier completely serviceable at this point for atmospheric operations. So that is an atmosphere-only ship. I'm pretty sure I could now that I know what, now that I've got a proper flight deck on this thing as opposed to just the little pads. I'm pretty sure I could put in, I could land an M core on this thing. I mean, there wouldn't be a lot of room left on the flight deck, but I'm pretty sure I could land an M core on it if I had to. M core atmosphere only. But most new players who want to go exploring other planets with their brand new ship that doesn't do anything but atmosphere will only have X XS or S-Core ships. So, it can be done. And then once that's docked in place, where I want to go is where I want to go. Okay, I'm pleased. Next thing to do, of course, is go put this thing back down at the space station. Um, <laughs> or down at the ground station. And then I'll, uh, and what I'm going to do here, in fact... So the ground is at what? Well, if I look down, the ground is 1.45 kilometers below me, because that's where the landing pad is. <laughs> and if I am at 2200, 1. Uh, so that's I got about 500 meters between me and the ground. Okay. So I can come down to 1700 without trying. We gonna go? Is it gonna do? No. Okay, I was wondering. Did it change? Okay, did it actually do that? Is the question. Turn that off. Turn that back on again. And back to ag. Yes, it did. But until I sit in the chair, apparently it's not gonna do it. Okay, that's kind of, kind of a downer. And down we go. Okay, 
Yes, the ground station's actually over this way. So safe is officially 1560. So, ergo, there's no problem going to 16 for the 1600. Yeah. And it wouldn't be hard with a little bit of smart design in terms of staircases on the sides of this thing to be able to then maneuver a ship off that upper deck down on one of the smaller decks, particularly uh, um, an excess core hull. I can land an excess core on the side pads. They're just too narrow for uh, because the hit boxes for the uh, the engine pods to be able to land the uh, to be able to land an, uh, an S core out there. So, yeah, easy, easy peasy. Okay. That's an interesting problem. Have to talk to uh, Aviator and find out. I think he's got a VTOL tag that I can apply to the vertical engines. Because I don't want them firing all the time. Right, once I've got ag capture, I don't want those engines running because they're actually powerful enough to lift the ship in, in its current configuration out of the atmosphere. So they're actually fighting with the ag right now. Okay, so now we're at 1600. Okay. So, 1550, what do we see? Fifteen fifty. Just waiting for the, the bounce to settle itself out. Hmm. Yeah, I got what, another seven hundred meters between but almost by definition I can drop another seven hundred meters. If I'm at fifteen hundred, then that means that and that's seven down, then that would give me three hundred meters grace. To the top of the hill. Okay, that's good to know. All right. Um, <laughs> all right. Let me go get the ship off my fl off my flight deck and put it away. Second, sweetheart has a question for me. Oh. 
Okay. This stick just because I need to practice. Alright. Brakes off, landing mode off. 10%. Yeah, 20% power is fine. This is where I really don't like not having my, um, my camera view on a hat. Because it makes this part a whole lot harder. No, I'm off to the right. Damn it. Okay, stop. Stop, 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 stop. thrust vector. I need to double check and find out if if, um, if they fixed that, if they've added that yet. Um, view controls by hat, contro by hat. There must be a way to do it. I can't imagine they wouldn't have. Because that is the one thing currently missing from my setup that for things like um, DCS World and X-Plane, that it's just absolutely critical. The ability to just thumb flip to look, move your camera position around. Okay, let's do it like this. And then let's do a bit of that. Don't need to go. That's 10 meters is fine. Okay, I'm way too far forward. That's what I thought. All right, I'm gonna have to switch to external camera. I just can't, just can't see enough. Okay. Still getting used to the thumb wheel. So my uh, vertical sp vertical height is governed by a little wheel controller on the uh, on the edge of my throttle here. So just still getting used to using that. Yeah. Because what the game decides is ground is really annoying some days. Okay, negative three. Okay, stop.
Give me a bit of reverse thrust, please. Thank you. Okay, I see what's going on. Okay, just like that. There we go, zero throttle. I keep spinning the mouse, I keep spinning the altitude wheel the wrong way. A little bit of thrust vectoring out to the right. Like that. further down. I want to be down around 10 meters. Okay, there we go. So I can do a little bit more thrust vector off to the right. I want that pretty much right in front of my canopy. Yep, just like that. Stop. And then we just go into landing mode. Huh, what am I... Oh, I know what... Let me guess. How the hell... Okay, yep, it's the hitbox. What am I fetched on? Um, at first, I thought it was fetched up on the uh, on the support there that's got, that's holds the 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 the, uh, the horizontal cross beam, but I don't think that's it. I'm not sure what I'm snagged on there. Oh, well, doesn't matter. That's annoying, but it's not really a problem. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm experimenting with different ones. Um, some of them aren't as bright as others. Uh, that one's nice, but it... Yeah. So what did I fetch up on? I can't actually see what this thing is complaining about. Like, it thinks there's a solid object under it over there. Unless it's treating the, you know, it wouldn't be treating the beam as a solid object. That makes no sense. Okay. Don't know. Don't know. But yes, that is a, uh, uh, let's just turn that off for now. But yeah, get myself up to the carrier. Zach answering question from Sweetheart. Okay, so let's get, I mean... Yeah, that's possible. And it, it can be silly stuff like that. It's either that... Or I'm wondering if what's going on, if this thing, if this has a... So this is copied from another, from the original E19, and I think I had C-Wing install the, his heat shields on that. At which point, this thing is actually a lot longer than I think it is. It's actually about that long. I, I wonder if that's what's going on here. No. Not crucial. I'll sort it out another day. But yeah, Sea Wings heat shielding is cool, um, but it does produce a huge uh, collision box. Okay. Uh, what did I do? Oh, okay, yes, there we are. Alright. And away we go. Looks pretty damn cool. <laughs> I like that.
All right. Okay. So the bird's a little low. So this is going to be doing it, trying to do this dead stick is not the brightest idea I've come up with, but it is valuable practice. Just about like that, I think. Go and roll in. Okay. And then cut the speed as across the threshold. Okay. A vehicle that size, I know for a fact I can land that on the so on the side decks. So, but again, for a new pilot who may just be for operating with basically the the equivalent of a jacked up pocket rocket, yeah, that'll do it. I uh, you know I could, but. You know, pocket rocket. I keep it in my pocket, thus I don't forget it someplace, like, on one of the side pads. <laughs> Alright. Go. Nothing crinkled. Excellent. Well, I am thinking about, it's funny, I'm thinking about doing a variation of a pocket rocket um, that is um, basically the biggest pocket rocket I can um, that would still actually be pocketable. And that gets tricky because cargo containers immediately invalidate your design. So it has to be something that the cargo containers, with the cargo, can go in your pocket. So, yeah. Um, that's going to actually be the limiting line on the design. Um, because then the idea would be is that even if there's a brand new pilot who wants to try this, here, just come over here, have a free, have, have a free thing, go for a, and, and go see a new planet. All right. It's, um... And then our magic number becomes what sixteen? It's yeah, sixteen thousand. We'll set sixteen thousand. And of course, it's not actually it's not going to start actually moving until I get in the chair. Okay. Three large exotic freights is 60 to 70,000. Okay. Alright. That's not terrible. Yep, yep. No, that yeah, that's the whole point is the is is to find is basically to build a perfectly flyable atmospheric air vehicle that will that can support itself uh, probably sanctuary because that is the most miserable you know, but yeah, you know, the the the, uh, the most miserable place to fly out of. So if it'll fly okay uh, um Alioth or um uh, you know, if it can get up to 10% into the 10% range on Alioth or up to the 10% range on uh, on Sanctuary, then it's a perf with, with a cargo load, let's say Hematite, which is, you know, the most obvious thing for a low level, an entry level player. 
you know, you know, a million credit pocket rocket with the idea that, you know, by the t- if you if you can do a if, if you can do with you know with, with a million credit pocket rocket that with the assistance of this vehicle two two runs to two round trips to Sakari would pay for itself, right? Yeah. That's sort of the idea. Like I say, it's going to be an interesting build because I kind of want it to look like a cargo helicopter, right? That's sort of the vibe I want to go with. But I also want the price range to be something that it's not going to cripple a brand new player by, you know, by taking it on. A good all-around atmospheric hauler for doing for doing missions around, you know, for tooling around uh, Alioth. And I don't know, maybe someone's already building them, you know, um, you know, and the answer is I could just go buy a half dozen and resell them, you know, resell the kits as required. Um, but the, you know, something that's going to be a good all round player built hauler that'll do okay, that's accessible to a new player, look okay, and be able to haul around, you know, a hundred tons of cargo without trying too hard. And that'll let, you know, allow a new player to, to, do, to feed, you know, to, to feel like they're accomplishing something. Yeah, that's that's. There, are, there's you know, space only and atmosphere only are, are two huge gaps because everyone because because there isn't a vehicle like this in existence yet, not in a com- in a commercial capacity, and that's why I'm building it. It'll be an interesting exercise. Um, it it's going to be a much more complicated build than it sounds, just because of the requirement to keep it small. Poe wants to build one that's basically everything goes in your pocket, uh, including the warp engine, and so you can basically go anywhere, and it's you know a pop a pop up warp shuttle if you need it. I think it's amazing, um, but uh, yeah, I, to me, again, that's a technical challenge, right? How do you get all that into a pocket rocket configuration? Yep, it does. And again, you know, that Poe's kit is going to be... Um, Poe's kit is aimed at people like you and me, who've already got warp shuttles and things like that, and are well-established in the game, and basically just need something that's going to... I, I need to be able to go here now. I don't want to have to go all the way back to the base to go get the thing to go get to go to the place. I just want to go now, right? That That's what he what they're aiming at. Um, I'm, like I say, my, my target is the, is brand new players.
All right, what are we at? We're at 53% atmosphere, so moving on up slowly. Well, we're doing 14 kilometers an hour. I'm not going 14 kilometers, so. I only need to get about half that distance, in fact. So, 15 minutes or so, and I, uh, at most, and I ought to be in a position to light up the uh, light up the space engines and get the hell out of here. With a successful test complete. Yeah, you're probably right, MNCDK. For me, it's the inefficiency issue. You know, about about 20% of your mass is doing you nothing. No, ma no matter what you're doing, 20% of your mass is irrelevant. So. And a lot of players just don't leave Alley off. They get stuck. They get stuck on the ground doing doing flights between between their uh, between their mining units and Market Six. I know that because. So, presuming that most. Hey, Zeev, good morning. Good to see you. Uh, my. Yep. And I say that because um, most new players, I would presume, are coming into the game via Steam. Right? And only 6% of Steam players, 7% will round up, of Steam players have the faster than light achievement. So that means 93% of Steam players have never turned a warp drive on. The other one that gets me is this one Space Wanderer. Fly half of, half of, you know, 500,000 kilometers in space. It's actually not that far. 95% of players don't have it. So that tells me the majority of players are stuck on the ground. Are stuck on Alioth. So, you know, part of the point of this ship here is to, well make that it make those things possible let's go to Sakari well warp drives are incredibly expensive things to have sit, sitting idle you'll want them on as much as possible same thing as ag, ag, ag engines you want them doing something as much as possible mounting them on ships and not turning them on seems silly so the whole point of this ship is not to carry cargo it's to carry ships and use its ag and warp drive as much as possible. Well. And that's, and that, again, again, MNCDK, you and I are sort of in a different place in the game. You, um, you know, you were beta, so for you, that is a, um, having warp is almost a, a, you know, the equivalent not of, you, you, you have to have a second car kind of thing. Um, and for me, uh, the idea of, I, I'm, you know, I've been called Mr. Space, um, the idea of not having, um, you know, space-capable vehicles. Yeah, exactly. And so... You, you know, you and I got different expectations and, di and different needs based on where we are in the game. And I'm looking at the new player experience based on the statistics that I have access to, right?
Got to figure out what I'm going to do. I'm going to pretty that up. I think a lot of this is going to wind up being... A lot of those hard hard lines are going to be getting replaced with curves. Round, round some of that stuff out, even if it's padding. You know something, MNCDK? That's not a bad problem to have. And again, the worst that happens is I've had a lot of fun building a ship. If this turns out to be not commercially viable, like if no one needs it, it's still cool to have around, and at worst, I'll scrap it. And in the meantime, I've gotten to build a cool ship, so... My hope is it's going to be useful, and if it's not useful, well, I'll find uses for parts. This is one of these builds that's just always made sense to me since I joined the game, and so I wanted to... Oh, I'm... Did you see that? I'm missing an adjuster back here. Huh. Okay, I need to fix that. Well, that's exactly it. Yeah, I'm missing an adjuster back here. Okay. Uh, how did I manage that? All right, well, I will fix that. We get into thin air here in about five minutes. I might go looking for an ag HUD that doesn't depend on me sitting in the chair. Might be a thing I want to do. So for carrier operation, basically for for vertical operations, I can just go, I can just punch it in, hit the button, and go do other things. Now that it's moving, I can get out of the chair. I know that, but. That's what I thought. No, actually, no. Okay, I've still got a half tank of fuel there. Okay, so the engines are off because I'm because I'm uh, because I'm going up. Okay. All right. Cool. They're not off because I ran out of fuel. All right. Good to know. drop by Costco and get myself. I need three more of these. I want to go look at, I want to see Costco in person. I've never been there. That looks pretty good. I like that. I'm experimenting with the... Yes, it is. I haven't, I haven't closed up the, uh, the, the top deck yet. Um, mostly because I wasn't sure. There's a certain amount of finished detail... Yep, you did. There's a certain amount of finish detail that I don't do until basically I know the ship is is operationally capable because for all I know I've got to tear the whole damn ship apart and start over again. So the roof is pretty much the last thing I put on the ship. Um you know, I put markers where I want certain things and if I I'm experimenting, 
which is what that grill was here. Right, this deco. So what I'm going to do is put a fairly shiny surface above it with lights pointed upwards and try and do indirect lighting into the uh, into the pilot area. So this is basically the, the hangout lounge while we're going from point to point if folks want to hang out in here. So yeah, I would want to set up another one of these fuel screens. Because this is just all space fuel, but I don't have enough for... I can only put six tanks, I think it is, per screen. So I'd need another programming board, and then another screen here, and that would let me track my atmospheric fuel. And that sort of ruins the view, doesn't it? <laughs> huh. <laughs> You like that, do you? Yeah. Um, I had considered all, uh, alternatively putting a slab of glass down on top of that and just using this as the under as the under panel and then slabbing glass over it. But I think now that that's up there, I wasn't sure if I was going to need that or not. But I think now that that's up there, I'll go with the uh, the first plan, which is probably a, a polished silver or something. Asked go ship info. Yeah, okay, cool. The thing about this particular tool is it integrates with the uh, with the flight control HUD. So um, I can hook all my fuel tanks up over here, plug those into the data bank, and then my flight control HUD actually has access to the fuel info that way. For large ships, it's a great way of keeping your fuel tanks organized. But yeah, I keep forgetting that that, the, uh, that it shows the Atmo tank over here. I think I may replace that with a bigger screen. That seems small. Probably. I think that's an XS, is it? Yeah, I'll replace that with an S screen. But yeah, okay. Fourteen percent, almost there. Oh, that's the one you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's been installing that or since I first started flying ships. Just too damn useful. Found it on DU Creators and fell in love with it. Yep. Yeah, and I mean, that probably is worth doing as well, actually. Put a trio of panels over there and just have one thing up on each of them all the time. Do you have to have... Do you have to have multiple programming boards for that, or can you just plug multiple screens into the one board? Oh, fantastic. I haven't tried it, that's why I'm asking. So yeah, no, that, then that, that's absolutely what I'll do when I, get, when I can, is plug two more screens into it. it plug two or three more screens in, into that, leave one here, and then put two or three larger screens up on this blank chunk as a, uh, as a, status, as a status report. I like that idea. 12%. Okay. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that'd work if I used a lar if I used some fairly large screens over there. Then pilot could shoulder check to see that data. Okay, I like that. That's a good idea. Thanks, Steve. Okay.
Yeah, that's 9.5%. I get a kick out of watching the engine. The different engines cycle up at different sp at different points. All right, let's get our nose up. Well, yeah, because there's only ten. There's only there, there's only nine plugs in the board. So, but nine is lots. Space flight. Okay. Um Probably gonna need to change that. Okay, we're gonna go to Mattismood One is our destination. And then I uh, need and we're departing Mattis. Okay. Alright. Let's turn that screen off now. That's really where I want to go. Which is where? No, oh, way over there. Okay. I haven't got this waypoint in the uh, in the nav computer yet, so again, something has haven't been bothering to do yet until I get to until I've been able to get it to make sure that everything else works. Now that I know that the, it's it's perfectly viable for carrier for carrier flight operations, I'll, I can worry about finishing it up. power. vertical thrust here to get the uh, the vector tidied up. As you know, that's what vertical thrust motors are for.
actually moving a bit too fast for this, but that's fine. Probably just have to do a. Uh, 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 I'll probably just have to stop do, and do, do a course correction burn. That's fine. So let's just do that. Because otherwise, what's going to happen is I'm just going to wind up doing a, a spiral coming into the station. I'm about about a 45 degree off angle inset, which means I'm moving as fast towards it as I'm as I'm move, moving laterally to it right now. So, which means I just wind up spiraling and burning a lot of fuel, just as if it, it, it's, it's more efficient to just come to a stop, or at least come down to about a thousand kilometers an hour, because then I because then I have enough ener uh, energy on the maneuver engines to actually bend the vector properly. See the difference that makes, right? back up to cruising speed again. Don't want to get too aggressive. I am actually within one SU of the destination, so... out. And I would 
like to have a braking distance of 21 kilometers. Braking distance now should be 18. Basically what I do is I'm is I divide by 10, multiply by three. So 50, 50 kilometers, I want to be have a braking distance of about 15, about 15 kilometers. 30% of my remaining distance is what I want to keep as my braking distance. I find it very hard to run into things that way. I still manage, but it takes a lot more work. Oh, I'm aware, MNCDK. I'm an incredibly conservative pilot. All you have to do is scrub a four-hour flight to Denver once, and you, and you learn not to be a cowboy. <laughs> uh, crinkle crunch? Nope. No crinkle crunch. Okay. There will not be a French lesson. Okay. I thought I'd done. I need to put some green glass around, a, 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 a green trim around the main window or something. I keep doing that. I thought, what am I up? Okay, I'm a little bit more to the right than I thought. Okay. Oh, don't tell me it doesn't go back in now. That would be funny, actually. doesn't fit in anymore. So that's quite funny because it flew out just fine, but now with the addition of the top deck it doesn't go back in the uh, in the graving dock. That's fine. That's not that actually big a that's not that big a problem. Okay.
nose and a minus 90 fire the engines until braking distance equals atmosphere distance and then it cut the engines and brake. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I mean... <laughs> See, you're the reason they added maintenance units. I was wondering about that. Yeah, that is the leading cause of me crunching stuff, too, actually. Um, although, honestly, I crash far more on stream than I do in flying privately. Because, well, I'm chatting with folks, right? I'm having a great time. I'm laughing. I'm telling stories. I'm doing everything but paying attention to my distance. <laughs> All right. And there we are, ladies and gentlemen, non-binary finery, everybody else who might be watching. I am really pleased. Oops. Yeah, really pleased. The next thing to do is read some documentation. There is a way to set this up so that the lift, when it reaches um, the uh, final waypoint, would actually trigger the garage doors automatically and I wouldn't actually have to push the button. So I think I'm going to be doing read, it, read up on the documentation, find out how that's supposed to work. But I'm really pleased about all that. That looks super slick. Okay. Alright, so then I probably will want to put a set of stairs or a jump pad here, I think. I mean, the one down here is handy, but yeah. But yeah. I can put one essentially here that goes straight down. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah. Alrighty. right yeah I think so yeah perfect it's not done till you put a bonsai on it <laughs> <laughs> this is turning into quite a nice view very pleased So that's it for me for today, folks. Oops, apparently I bumped my uh, screen over here. Oh, wow. Oh, I must have mauled that with the chair last time I was. I got up to go do something. Okay, well, that's fine. I'm just about done anyway. But yeah, so we'll call that done for today, folks. Thank you so very much for hanging out with me. I do appreciate the uh, time and um, uh, the time and company while I'm gaming. 
and uh, the chit chat. It's all just, it makes it so much fun. So thank you again. If you're catching this later on in the VOD as well, take care of yourselves. I do appreciate you. Um, right now, I'm getting almost 100 views per VOD, which is absolutely amazing. I really do appreciate that. That is fantastic stuff. And uh, so, yeah, so folks in person, folks uh, watching later on, all very much appreciated. Thank you very much as well, Zeef. Take care of yourself. We will see you sometime around the in-game or... Uh... Okay, it's 60 industry units. Oof, wow. Yeah, I was I was doing something the other day and, did, and wound and realized that my factory core has got over a thousand operational elements on it right now. It's like, how did that happen? <laughs> I have no idea what's here. How did that happen? <laughs> so it's amazing how these things grow. Eh? All righty. Take care of yourselves. We'll see you again around in game. Next time I should be streaming 4.2. Wow. Yeah. Okay. 4. Point... Yep. Slowly and sl slowly, but surely Zeef. So yeah. So two days, I uh, should be back for the next stream and we'll do some more. Um, by then I will have some calibrations to do. Um, and, uh, might have a little bit more done on the carrier. Um, and yeah, just uh, the next thing uh, I need to throw a little bit of time in is working around the station. I need to get the, uh, the top of the hangar up here. This needs to be all closed up, right? That's the point. I need to get those side walls done over there. And then I need to get the glass and upper deck done there. So, and then I've got to figure out a hangar for that thing. I suspect what I'm going to do is at literally just build a second uh, a second vertical pad component down one for parking this ship in specifically. Um, because right about there is where the elevator is, right? That's the center of the those four. So over here, I've got some room. And then the idea is I want to expand. I want basically want to put another one of those over here and then one there and one there and then a row of pads well basically half that size across the front and those will be the proper landing landing visitor pads for the uh for the station and then it'll be on to the next piece which is building the mall um fuel munitions ores that kind of stuff is all going to be available when i do visit costco if you need anything poke me if your friday isn't around all right i appreciate that mncdk will do but yep, yeah, that's it for today. Thank you again so much, and we'll see you all again soon. Cheers.